but when you put such a demand on yourself, a hope, a big Love expectation, it. it's a huge dream. Love She's it. had it for ages. That that that's pretty wearying, isn't it? Time. Yeah, I think it really hurt her uh, that she didn't win the gold, and uh, she said it. If she hadn't had to play the next day for the bronze, she would cry all day. And I think it's really like mentally exhausting. And she didn't play Toronto last week, still recovering from sort of her Olympic experience. So as we have to perhaps look at this week for her back on this surface, changing back onto this surface. So it's taken her a little while to, you know, adjust again. think it's still too close to play after Olympics it's just uh, you see other athletes still going on the morning shows and bringing yeah. their medals and still having that after Olympics yeah. feels and tennis players they're already playing second events since Olympics that's that's brutal <laughs> yeah, it is isn't it well, that uh, was a brutal return of a serve that just popped up it didn't have much on it other than a big invitation to come and hit me Sabalenka's not going to decline that Mistake from the world number one, who is now 0 and 7 behind her second serve. Oh, struggling to uh, cope with these return games of uh, Sabalenka's. Hmm. Hopefully, that's going to move past. When I used to play in Cincinnati, I always felt like it's a tropical island because Did every you? single day it used to be a rain at 3 p.m. for an hour and then back to full sunshine and humidity. Going there, Swintek swatting at the air after missing that one. Her total errors are, uh, including forced and unforced, are 16 already. Nine unforced, seven forced by Sabalenka's crushing of the ball. I would say when you play Sabalenka, probably even unforced errors would count as force because you just feel that you're forced to do something more than you yeah. usually do. Sabalenka's third ace. Ah! Oh, wow, she said, is that one <laughs> reared up awkwardly for her?
was a close one from Sabalenka. Still with game point. Still good positive body language from Igor Shvantek. What a clever shot that was. Sviontek, I think, sensing it was going to be down the line and she'd have to dart across, but back into her movement there from Zabalenka, caught her out. Svantec technique everything is so short and the backswing is short and if she doesn't go forward after the hitting the ball become too short and it kind of has nothing on it These are the two players who've reached more semi-finals in WTA 1000s than anybody else. 17 times for Shantek, 14 for Sabalenka. Great serve. Nicely done from Sabalenka. Because when she hit that backhand, you feel like the ball is glued to her strings. There's an air of calm preparation now between yeah. service points, isn't there, with her? It takes a time. Yeah, I wanted to ask you if you think it happened naturally just by improving, you know, and working her way up, or somebody... <laughs> I don't know the honest answer. I, uh, I imagine it's probably both. It's evolved. Uh, yeah. A recognition because she used to get you know, so amped up and, and overhitting the time and just needs that bit of suppression before sort of regrouping, going for the next point. Almost every week. Uh... Again, guys, sorry. And she showed herself that she has to move a bit, step forward. The Shantik. Body forehand serve. Yeah. 
body serve pressure to Sabalenka's forehand. That's the job. It was a painful mistake. Yeah. And again, facing trouble here. Break point down. Sabalenka already converted the two she's had in the first set. And another body serve keeps her in the game. Spots well with her serve around the Put more energy on it. Well, this game and, and the next one, if, if Shriantek holds here and can establish herself first in the set, might be a key stage of this match. But you could see Shriantek left reeling there, as such was the force of the shot shooting through him from Sabalenka before that. Again, this shot selection, the last one from Sabalenka, is something that she really improved because a few years back you would see her going full power, yeah. closed eyes, when there is no need. Yeah. yeah, she was turned up to 11 all the time, wasn't she? Yeah. She moved and dealt with that. Shontek not doing enough with the volley. He still took a shot. With some skill here from Sabalenka to make this calm pass. Yeah, it was not an easy one for Sabalenka. for Sabalenka this year so far. Big number if you think about it. Yeah, she 
Jesus. And what are they? Most regular strikers of aces. Well, that's currently fifth on the tour, oh, so it's we'll even more scary. <laughs> A shot, oh, that's world class. The number one anticipating moving sweetly to that and giving uh, the Polish fans a little more to cheer as the sun returns now. That's more like a regular point for Iga Schwantek that we are used to see. Yeah, Sabalenka going down the line, which of course is a risk. You've got to really hit a good ball, particularly against a, the world's best, if you're going to beat her there. Sabalenka. Come on, come on. Come on, let's go with the fire. <laughs> <laughs> she produced a great shot, didn't she, into the baseline like that. Yes. She returned from Shiontech. so well, really injected pace into it. And she's had to work a bit harder perhaps to hold here than previously. And first percentage, I mean for the match, is only at 50%. And when she's got the ball in play, she's winning 65% on the first serve. a nice balance that they have in her team I, I do wonder a bit and I'm only saying this from a distance looking in but you know for, for Shiontek's team how much fun she has as well as the hard work that she obviously puts in but yeah it depends on the personality maybe yes. she's the person if she'll start to have a bit more fun maybe it won't work for her it's not her natural thing because with Arena you see the appearance she has on court she already having fun even though it's a yes, hard work yes wow, what a deep return but you can use sort of fun to, to relieve a bit of pressure in, in the right place you know not overdo yeah. it but and, and it is different people different react differently to pressure, deal with it differently. It's certainly a contrast anyway, you feel, I think, for these two Yeah, teams. from the outside. It looks like that. again understandably making that mistake just feel that tension again in her racket yeah a bit too short of a movement of 
the ball of the contact point. Let's see what Sabalenka's done there against the uh, second serve. How tough she's made it for Sri Antec today. I don't think that uh, percentage is low just because Sabalenka's serve is second serve is a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Two breaks already for Sabalenka. Another one here. Could be a significant move towards the final. Turn cleanly. She's going to take a no mistake with her next shot. A lot of commitment on that forehand from Iga Shantek. a clever play isn't it because she just nullifies Swiatek straight away by going right back at her and then has the ball to make the big strike win I really like that wide base from Sabalenka on her return. Makes her hitting the ball very stable. Think of Djokovic, think of Murray setting yeah. up for the return like that. from Sveltek trying to stay in charge because otherwise you have no chance if Sabalenka is on top of the point taking control And it wasn't the biggest serve, it wasn't perhaps the deepest, but it got up and just catches Fiontek. But again, it was the preparation, Sabalenka taking time, not rushing.
and if they're doing enough to keep them for that. And to be fair, to be honest, Sarah Lake is actually struggling at the moment with her first set percentage. It is only at 33% in this second set. Putting a real demand on her second serve, as we saw just then. Sure, she got another serve in, but this time Shiontek makes the most of it. Attacked it, put it right in the corner, and has a rare break point herself, just her second of this match. space can't be done she didn't go blazing at that but it was a strong shot nonetheless what a response from Sabarenka good footwork wasn't it? a little step yeah. just to get herself balanced to set up and attack that Timing to find the first serve, Arina. I find it that she stopped really doubting herself that uh, on the all pressure moments important moments she doesn't doubt she, she she just goes for it even bigger and that must come from the success she's now had the major titles together with all the others consistently reaching the, the latter stages of the Grand Slams <laughs> what a response. It was a, not an easy shot. Sipalenka just rips it off. Back, today's her backhand is just on the point. Isn't it? You feel unless Sabalenka starts to miss today, it's like how how do you beat her today? Mm. She read it like a book. He didn't do enough on that uh, shorter ball. Igor Shvantek really had it. Didn't take care of it enough. It went through the middle, right at Sabalenka's racket. Too low and troubling Shiontek. 
point. Number seven for Sabalenka. Sabalenka looking to wipe her away today. Uh, it was, yeah. miles an hour, but it felt faster. But clever, wasn't it? Just a yeah. change of pace, the slider out of reach. Oh. <laughs> Very quickly too, did very well. Let's hit that in the best of an off backhand return. A bit of pressure back on Sabalenka and serve here. To work hard, Arina Sabalenka. Job is not done yet. Well, they have to be so careful, of course. We don't want yeah. anybody getting injured at any time in the course of the year. Thank you, guys. And at this stage of a big event and next Grand Slam just over a week away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just that now it's enough, just a little bit, and it's ice. It's interesting how to see that how this already I think four or five mini stops doesn't seems like doesn't bother Sabalenka at all mentally. She just so relaxed about it. She wants to stop herself even though she's so close to to the finish line. You have a dry and, towel. Uh, towel? Yeah. Usually when you're Can so you stressed, towel, you please. don't wanna please. have those stops. But she seems like pretty relaxed about it. She might feel differently if she was. On the other end of the scoreline, wouldn't she? I think yes. perhaps I'm thinking, perhaps you know, finding it all very stressful, and it's on Shiontek really to to manage that as well as the difficulty yeah, that going, she's yeah. in at the moment in this no, matchup. No, not behind. Just, just baseline, yeah. Just to get a time. Yep. Thanks again to the grounds. The kids doing the job to enable us to continue. Once more, game point for Savalenka.
combination. That is Seems like an effortless tennis from Savalenko. Yeah, <laughs> so smooth and yet on the other side for Sviantic, so awkward just being removed from the equation again here, so close to the line, there's no time to get back for that. Start of this encounter, I suppose the one little silver lining for her is that Sabalenka is going to be up to number two in the world. So going to the U.S. Open, yeah, she wouldn't face her unless they met in the final. Oh, sometimes it's almost good not to play as great to like to win a title just before the U.S. Open, you know, just yeah. to not to put that pressure on you the ice. He got the treatment. Unfortunately, it was so short in the box from Sviantek. Sabalenka right after it, as she has been right from the start of this matchup. What a performance from the third seed. Taking out the world number one here, it would seem, at match point for the first time. Will the one be enough? Oh. 15, 14. It's another point that she's lost on the second serve. She's managed to win just four out of 22 in the contest. The old adage, you're only as good as your second serve. Well, it's a bit more about it than that, but here she is facing match point number four. Oh. 
Rogers. Who says that? That's the body again. Shot. So like the times, there's just so many. It's like after the bounce, it goes even faster. Yeah. I'm just not ready for that. It's like Sabalenka needs to push a bit more for the last point. Sixth match point for the third seed. Just the start Sviantek will want to make. Yeah, needs to start using her legs a bit more, Sabalenka. as she expected. And Iga, the match is over when it's over. <laughs> really needed that first serve and she needs a few more, I feel. 15, 15. Most of them are 20 unforced errors each. Shows that it's Sabalenka who played way more aggressive today. One step she moves now. Well, this would be a remarkable turnaround if she had been launcher. They come back from 1 5 down, all those match points saved. A 
to serve again. And a little bit of chat to herself there, Sabalenka. that goes a bit too high yeah. on the coach side. Yeah. It's up first, too much up. What a great shot that, back behind. Puts Sviontek in a spin. And puts a match point down again. Tips, I just feel like if she can manage to win this game, things can change for her. Of course, it will depend on her serve as well a bit, but... Yeah, just to knock some confidence out of Zabalenka. Gatsy second serve. She really went for it. Okay. Four miles an hour. All right, quick work with herself before her ninth match point. <laughs> she produced one big serve to finish it. But she was allowed to really, wasn't she? Because that serve yes. was very conservative. It, she took the pace off, she just got it in rather than surprised. really going for it. She went for kind of the spinny serve. Yeah. There's a break point about for Sviantec here. Time again, her team. Chance to encourage her again. I start to think slightly. 
has given way too many chances to finish this match. I think Sabalenka fans will be watching at home behind the sofa. <laughs> What's coming next? Great shape on the forehand there. Taking it, taking it down just in time. Very close to the line though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's very risky. Oh dear. Yeah, that would be the worst play for Arina Savalenka. Yes. Okay, also caught by the weather again. Actually, back into the locker room. Think about all the match points she's had. Job for the team to do then. Let's pass up. Acceleration of that forehand from Shantik, she knows that the movement is too short to just block the ball. Polish fans. <laughs> it's tense. for Schwantek. Good throw back from the kid there. <laughs>
Paddy with her first ever straight sets win against her. Very tricky towards the end there, but.